if you have a system or you have a way of, of accessing, uh, like let's say for example, Verizon, you have Verizon, you have your uh, Detroit Edison consumer powers, wherever you are, your, your energy bills, all of the trash, all these things are now housed on the websites. You don't need to keep those bills anymore for the most part. Now, one of the things you can try to do is just reconciliate the, the charge cards. I would say, um, look those over. And a side note, everyone should have a shredder. Ding, 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 have a shredder. Uh, because these utility bills that have your important, your important information, your charge cards, things of that sort, once you get to a point where you go paperless, uh, you need to shred those things because people can grab your, your information. We talk about identity uh, theft and all of that stuff. So you want to shred those things up. Just get manila folders. You don't have to get so fancy. Have something with the three tab folders. Get what's called the, the Pendaflex or the green hanging folders. Have yourself a filing cabinet. Now there's levels of sophistication with the filing cabinet. Uh, definitely suggest at least minimally a two drawer. But if you want to get, your, depending on your office, maybe you can have two two drawers or you can have a four drawer. Depending on the complexity, you have your own business, uh, you want to keep other types of items, but you'll see that, I mean, I, I have two, two drawer, uh, systems for me. They work out pretty good. And, and we'll talk about what types of things you would need. But uh, again, I'm just trying to make sure that people have, uh, talk about how you want to house your things. Now, here's the other thing. I always think about the worst case scenario, consider having one that's somewhat fireproof, somewhat fireproof. They, they have. Those are very expensive, but there are other devices that have, uh, you can get like a small folder. It's like a legal folder that you have the little string on the front of it. If you give mm -hmm. me a second, I think I may have one here. Okay. So this is one of them. It's zippered up and you can put papers in. I don't know if you can see it and stuff like that, but it's yeah, got papers and stuff like that on it. It's coming through. It, it's bit. reflective because if you it has a fire rating on it, mm. so if the house burns up, it's got a reflector because you can throw a mag a, a light on it when it's burning up or at night, and you can still find this piece of okay. this document that may may be burned up somewhere with everything else. But it gives a certain rating. Have something that's fireproof in case of a fire.